Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have another episode of the RS317 Sharp project, and today's going to be about basically the past three days' indecision on, you know, what do I do for server emulation? Do I port something? Do I write something from scratch? What do I do? Well, I have something called Glad MMO, which was for a 3D, uh, Unity 3D MMORPG like VR Chat, and it was quite far along. It's on my channel if you want to see it. And I've decided to use that for, well, RuneScape. And to do this, I have to basically completely rebuild the networking for the client to make it compatible with the current backend for Glad MMO, which unfortunately, the, the real-time game simulation aspect runs in Unity, but I can bring it out eventually. A client, if it runs outside, that's fine, but the game simulation for the server uh, required some collision and pathfinding, which relies on Unity. Unfortunate. Uh, totally open source, by the way. You can find the repository for this. So this is not an easy task because we basically have to throw away the networking in the uh, the 317 protocol and not use it at all. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what I have after a little while working on it. This was not easy, but and by the way, this looks ridiculous, doesn't it? But actually turns out to work quite well for demonstration. So let's log in. All right, there we are. And we can uh, move around. There's the other character right there. We both see each other. And you're probably wondering, um, you know, this doesn't look very advanced or fancy. And you're right. But let me tell you a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes right now. If we sit right here, uh, there's no bandwidth consumption there's no packets being sent at all in any shape or form and imagine we both clicked at the same time oh one of these didn't move well that's a bug i'll probably have to fix that uh, you know unfortunately that's the that's the reality of development you know you have some bugs and stuff but um, basically, it will aggregate the delta for movement. So if you've got 100 people nearby standing, uh, they, they take no bandwidth, generate no bandwidth. Which is good. And they take up no bandwidth. So you could have 100 people sitting around and no bandwidth usage. And if they all move at once, that's a single packet that's aggregated together as basically the delta of their movement. And this is based on uh, how World of Warcraft handles movement packets. So the concept of movement generators, uh, to not get too much into it, basically there's a update tick, and this one's 600 milliseconds, just like RS. It's basically going to move along the path, each tick. And, you know, um, you know, this isn't the final version, it's just something I hacked together real quick. It obviously is not complete. And, yeah, so... You can have different movement generators. Uh, you basically get this movement data from the packets and stuff, and you sort of tick through it. This was written, you know, for uh, the thought of, like, hey, this is going to be a 3D floating point based, you know, game. But RS is fixed point, and, you know, it's 2D, basically. So that doesn't doesn't really translate perfectly so that's one of those things that i'll have to eventually figure out if we're gonna if i'm gonna continue to use this which i think i will be so yeah that's the that's what i've got working right now you know i'll, I'll have some mo more videos when you know the, the sort of like game starts to come a bit more together it's kind of working you know you have players spawning in leaving you know moving around it's a start so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video